Throughout their history, the Pittsburgh Steelers have built their roster one way, through the draft. The 70s dynasty was created from within, including the greatest draft class the NFL has ever seen. 1974, taking Swan, Lambert, Starworth, Webster, Shell. That philosophy has carried on through recent years. Ben Roethlisberger, the 11th pick of the 2004 draft, to today with players like Juju Smith-Schuster and TJ Watt. But like any franchise, their track record is far from perfect. They've had their share of misses, prospects who never panned out. That's what this series is about, highlighting the biggest bust in Steelers history. It's not an effort to make fun of those players, but to revisit careers we've tried to forget and remember why they've never succeeded in the NFL. The Steelers drafted Senquez Golson with the 56th pick of the 2015 NFL Draft for one primary reason, to take the ball away. The year before, Pittsburgh secondary recorded just nine interceptions. It was a changing of the guard, transitioning away from run-stopping, cover three corners like William Gay and Brian McFadden to athletic playmakers. Golson's college tape proved he was a ball hawk. At Old Miss, he picked off 16 career passes, including a whopping 10 his senior season. His baseball background helped. A center fielder in high school and college, he was drafted by the Boston Red Sox, though he didn't sign, in the eighth round of the 2011 MLB draft. One of his biggest plays in school was simply dubbed the Interception, a game ceiling pick to upset number one Alabama. Moments like this got him drafted. Another low snap. Sims deep into the end zone, double coverage. It is up for grabs. It might be, no, it's no, it's out of the end zone. Well, this will be reviewed. Sinquez Golson yeah. thought he had the interception. Remember, he's 5-9. He went and got that. Here's the call. After further review, the ball was intercepted in the end zone. Though he was undersized at 5'9", 176 pounds, he was a good athlete and played bigger than his frame, willing to support the run with authority. In short, the perfect slot cornerback. Pittsburgh made him their choice in the second round. To announce the Pittsburgh Steelers selection, please welcome, from Southern University, selected in the third round of the 1970 draft by the Steelers, Hall of Famer, defensive back Mel Blunt. Thank you. Okay, here we go, Steeler Nation. With the 56th pick in the 2015 NFL Draft, the Pittsburgh Steelers select Sinquez Golson, defensive back, Mississippi. From a Hall of Famer defensive back to Ole Miss's first consensus team All-American pick, since Michael Orr in 2008, what do we see on tape of goals? If you're a Raven fan, you hate the pick. If you're a Steeler fan, you love it. That is one of the best picks of the second round. Senquez Golson is an interceptor supreme. 16 career picks. 16, okay? 10 last year, two as a junior, three as a sophomore, one as a freshman. Think about a kid who's pound for pound, one of the best football players in this draft. Five, eight and a half, 176 pounds. Got wide receiver hands. If some of these wide outs has his ball skills, they'd have been in the first round. This kid is a heck of a football player. He's spunky, he'll hit you, and when there's an opportunity to get a turnover, he's not gonna drop the football. He's gonna come away with the interception. He's gonna get you the turnover, get you possession of the football. I hate corners who on second or third down drop a pick because the next pass is a first down for a touchdown. This kid will not allow it to happen. This is one of the best picks of the entire draft, first or second round. St. West goals in the Pittsburgh Steelers. It really is. For all the reasons you said, he's a ball hawk. The Pittsburgh Steelers corners only had 11 interceptions last year. They can't get the ball. They keep dropping it. They obviously identified the guy in this draft that can finish off a play in the secondary. I agree with you, Mel. And, and for, a, for a smaller corner, he will support the run. I, I think he's tough. He's physical. He's aggressive. He's everything you look for. You wish he was a little bit bigger and longer and all those things, but he plays to his potential and his ability, and he is not afraid at all to mix it up. That's where the highlights end. That's where the footage ends. The next three years were nothing but an injury-plagued nightmare. Golson had the dubious honor of being one of only a handful of modern-era draft picks to never play in a game. I mean that literally. Three years, no games. None in the regular season, none in the preseason. At the start of his first NFL training camp in 2015, Golson was surprisingly added to the Steelers' pup list for a shoulder injury. He spent camp on the sidelines, never practicing, before Mike Tomlin announced Golson would undergo season-ending shoulder surgery on August 21st to repair a torn labrum. His rookie season was wiped out. 
but he wouldn't be the first player to lose his rookie season to injury. He could recover for a sophomore year, take advantage of his mental reps, and hit the ground running in 2016. The next year, he made it to Latrobe healthy. He opened camp that year as a starting slot corner that didn't last long. On day four of camp, the second practice in pads, Golson was carted off with a foot injury. Doctors diagnosed it as a Liz Frank sprain, requiring a second surgery in as many years and another season completely lost. By 2017, the heat was on. Golson was a second round draft pick that hadn't come anywhere close to seeing action. He was off scholarship, demoted to second and third team work. As camp opened, he worked as the second string outside corner and third string slot corner, bouncing back and forth in order to maximize his reps. In the first pad of practice, the third day of camp, he made arguably his first positive plays as a stealer. He registered his first tackle, tripping up running back Terrell Watson before he could cross the goal line, followed by a pass breakup later in practice. But the day ended as it had too many times before. During the final special team session of the day, near the end of practice, Golson served as the left gunner running down a punt. He made it 10 to 15 yards downfield before pulling up, grabbing his left hamstring. Golson was carted off, never practicing again as a stealer, and was cut outright on September 2nd. To recap, here are the number of training camp practices he suited up for year by year. 0 in 2015, 4 in 2016, 3 in 2017 and he never made it anywhere close to preseason action. That's why this video lacks any game footage, it simply doesn't exist. Golson would make two more brief NFL stops. In mid-November, Tampa Bay signed him to their practice squad only to release him a week later. In April of 2018, John Gruden and the Raiders briefly carried him on their offseason roster, but cut him after six weeks, well before training camp. That was the last of his NFL career, if you can even call it that. Golson isn't a bust in the traditional sense. It's impossible to say if he was a good player or not because he never took a snap. He had the worst injury luck imaginable, and had he stayed healthy, perhaps he would have proven the Steelers' investment. In college, he looked like an all-star, but a bust is any high draft pick who woefully misses expectations, and Golson fits that bill.